Nobody's dragging me under. I used to relax by taking speed. No, really. When I was in high school, my mom had a huge box in our hall closet. Boxes and boxes of stuff she kept when I, my dad left. I was poking around the closet one night, looking for my old Beatle posters. I found a box of cards with bubble wrap pills in them. Dexedrine span stools. Dexedrine. Speed. I bet all cool people take speed. I bet Roger Daltrey takes speed. I bet Eric Clapton takes speed. I could take some pills and then nobody would recognize me. I'd be cool. So I took a few of them. I was worried it wouldn't be enough. I took a few more. I wanted it to be like when I was really little and it was New Year's Eve and my dad was still around and he let me drink a shot of scotch and sit in his big chair and everything was whirling. This time I got really calm, euphoric almost. My eyes looked deep when I looked in the mirror, like I knew exactly where to go. I did know. I was going to Cook's. Cook's Burgers, all the cool kids go to Cook's. You could get a lime Ricky there. I knew it was just soda, lime, and water, but Kathy Dowler told me it tasted just like gin. There was a game room in the back with pinball. Only the greasers hung around there. The front was crowded and noisy, and the ding, ding, ding of the pinball from the back. I could get a hamburger. I could get french fries, the greasy kind with big chunks of salt and pepper and little paper boats. I could get chicken in a basket. Yeah, chicken in a basket. I bet it comes in a really nice basket. A picnic basket with a red and white napkin and steam comes out when you open the cover and the skin of the chicken when you peel it off the breast. I bet there's a sheen of oil on the white meat, slick and smooth like ice or nail polish. I bet it's beautiful. So I wasn't hungry. I ordered a lime ricky. It was terrible. It tasted like flat lime soda. Maybe you need two of them. A lime ricky, please. One more lime ricky. Another lime ricky, please. Lime ricky. This must be it, the lime rickies. I was so relaxed. Not my usual quiet, dark self. I was talking to everybody. It was like my regular life was over on the side somewhere. Kathy Daller paying me to do her French homework, then walking right by me in the lunchroom when I said hello the next day. But my regular life didn't matter. I was talking to these really cool guys, Neil, Sam, and Ron. They were cool. They had clean teeth, button-type shirts, and Neil had an Eric Clapton t-shirt under his shirt. And they ate their hamburgers with a knife and fork, saying, we're the Three Musketeers. We're the Three Musketeers. So I joined them, and I was doing fine. So first period, I have French. I love French. But Sister St. Michelle laughed. I couldn't say talk, but it's parlay. But I said, Chante, that sings. Now she always says, voulez-vous chante votre lesson? Neil looked worried. Uh, don't you have to get home or something? <laughs> no, man, my mom thinks I'm out with Kathy Diller Daller. I do my French homework. She thinks I'm out doing my French homework. I don't even have to be home. I can stay up as late as I want. Neil again. I really think we should give you a ride home. We went out to the car. I couldn't stop laughing. You have a car. My mom will think this is so crazy coming home with three guys. She's going to be so mad. Sam and Ron and Neil took my arms, walked into the back of the seat of their Firebird. Sam and Ron got either side of me while Neil drove, just like being chauffeured. Hey, my house is the other way, you guys. It's off Boston Post Road. You've got to pull a Huey. It's back the other side. Hey, really, you guys, it's the other way toward New Rochelle. Guys, really, like no kidding, you're going the wrong way. Neil smiled. We're just going for a ride. Ride, okay, that's cool. Can I drive? I'm taking driver's ed, you know. Where are we going? Hey, you guys, where are we going? Hey, you guys aren't drunk, are you? Really? Like, this is, this is serious. Like, are you drunk? You're not drunk, are you? Impatient Neil didn't smile. We're just going for a ride, kid. Maybe I should just go home, you guys, okay? I just want to go home. Just take me home, please. I, I won't even tell anybody. Just take me home, okay? Please? Neil stopped the car. It's okay. You're going to be fine. You'll be fine. Thank you. <laughs>